Hello and welcome to Spur Economics. Today, we're diving into the concept of variance inflation factor or VIF, which is used to detect multicollinearity. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like our content. Visit the Spur Economics website for more knowledge on econometrics, link is in the description. Multicollinearity is a situation where the independent variables in a model have a strong relationship or correlation with each other. In perfect multicollinearity, a model cannot determine the coefficients. On the other hand, under imperfect multicollinearity, the coefficients can be estimated. However, the estimates have low accuracy and large standard errors rendering the results unreliable. As a result, it becomes essential to detect the presence of multicollinearity. Variance inflation factor or VIF is an important tool to determine whether multicollinearity is seriously affecting the estimates and their standard errors. VIF or variance inflation factor is an estimate of the increase in variance of a coefficient due to multicollinearity. With multicollinearity, the coefficient estimates have a lower accuracy and increased variance. The VIF helps us quantify how much the variance of the coefficients increases as a consequence of multicollinearity or high correlation with other independent variables. Moreover, the square root of VIF indicates by how much the standard error of the coefficients is being inflated due to multicollinearity. Suppose, we are estimating the model shown here with consumption as the dependent variable. Income, wealth and rate of interest are the independent variables in the model. In this model, we can expect income and wealth to be highly correlated. Therefore, income and wealth may lead to a problem of multicollinearity in the model. Using VIF, we can get an insight into whether multicollinearity is a serious issue in this model. To estimate the VIF, we first regress each independent variable on all the other independent variables in the model. For example, we take income as the dependent variable and wealth and rate of interest as the independent variables. Similarly, we take wealth and rate of interest as dependent variables in other equations. This gives us three models for three independent variables. We estimate these using OLS and obtain the R-square from each of these models. Next, we plug in the values of the R-squares into the VIF formula shown here. For example, the VIF for income is estimated by using the R-square Y into this formula. R-square Y is the one we obtained from the model with income as dependent variable and wealth and rate of interest as independent variables. Similarly, we obtain the VIF for wealth and rate of interest from our square W and our square R respectively. In Stata, we can simply use the sdatvif command to accomplish this. We estimate the original model using regress followed by sdatvif to obtain the variance inflation factors for all the independent variables. In R, we can use the VIF function provided by the car package. As usual, we first estimate the original OLS model using the LM function shown here. Then, we use the VIF function to obtain the variance inflation factors. The results of VIF estimation are shown in the table here. The interpretation of VIF is straightforward. Higher the value of VIF, more inflated is the variance of coefficients due to multicollinearity. As a general rule of thumb, we consider multicollinearity to be a serious problem if VIF is greater than 10. It is important to note here that this is simply a rule of thumb. In some cases, a VIF greater than 5 is also used to consider multicollinearity a serious issue. In our example, the results of VIF are exactly as expected. We suspected that income and wealth may be highly correlated and lead to multicollinearity. We can see in the table that VIF of income is 35.29 and VIF of wealth is 33.46. Both of these values are greater than 10. Moreover, the square root of these VIF shows us by how much the standard errors of the coefficients are inflated. 
For example, VIF of income is 35.29 and its square root is about 5.94. That is, the standard error of the coefficient associated with income is about 5.94 times larger due to multicollinearity. Since VIF is greater than 10 for both income and wealth, we know that these variables are causing multicollinearity. There are several ways to deal with this problem. We discussed those possible solutions to this issue in a separate video, link is in the description. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more in-depth discussions on econometrics topics. Leave your questions and comments below. See you next time!